Under the shadow of the iconic Cavern Club on Matthew Street, members and supporters of the Justice Collective gathered for the unveiling of a bronze disc on the Wall of Fame to commemorate Liverpool's 57th number one record, the Hillsborough tribute version of He's Not Heavy, He's My Brother. Can I thank everybody as part of something called the Justice Collective, and that was not just the artists who took part in the recording of the single, and it wasn't just about all the, the hundred or so people in the back room um, who did all the, the technical stuff and who did job roles that I didn't even know existed, such as plugging, um, but it's for everybody who bought the single as well. Um, over 400,000 people either bought the CD or downloaded it, and it normally takes about nine months to get a Christmas number one. It didn't even take us nine weeks, in fact, um, this is absolutely bizarre and it's not contrived at all. It's exactly 96 days to the meeting that we had on the 19th of October. Check your calendar, 96 days to where we are today. So from conception to actually what we're going to do today, which is putting the disc on the wall, 96 days. Now, that for me is very significant, but I don't know why that happens, but that, that's the truth of, of, of the matter. So we've got the Lord Mayor here and we've got some of the artists too actually took part in it and so on behalf of the Justice Collective can I thank everybody for coming today and Mr Jerry Marsden is going to actually put the 57th number one disc from Liverpool on the Wall of Fame. Thanks very much. John, we're standing on arguably the, one of the most famous streets in world music. How important do you feel it is that there's now a permanent commemoration of Hillsborough here? Oh, well, I think you've just nailed it. It's very important, you know. I think in a symbolic sense, you know, it re what it represents and, and what, it's, what, it, what it's achieved, you know. It's just, it's just a reminder, really, you know, of, um, of what the collective, Justice Collective achieved, you know. And that, all that was was taking a rare song and hopefully bringing awareness from a... From an issue that was maybe very strong Liverpool, but not everyone outside of, of the city. You know, they, I mean, it was a long time ago, but it was still raw, you know, the wound in this city. And they, I think the fact that people's normal people from all over the country bought the record, I think that means a lot to the, um, the families and that, you know, Christmas Day, number one. You know, 2012 has been seen as like a breakthrough year after all those years of getting nowhere. And are you hopeful that that momentum can be continued now in 2013? I think the momentum is continuing. I think if you see the kind of moves that have been made over the investigation itself and the changes to the conditions of police officers retiring and stuff like that, I think the momentum is continuing. Yeah. Just hope it rolls into the, uh, into the, the courts themselves and actions that the families take against those responsible. <laughs> The cast of the record is, is great, you know, and it, it's not an easy song to sing, so uh, no. yeah. and I'm, I'm fitting in women with the men singers, that was a challenge. But, uh, I think it's, uh, I and mean, also the original record is so uh, amazing, mm -hmm. to try and uh, match that record was a real challenge, because I'm a big, I love the original record. I mean, for me, it's, it's obviously, it's bittersweet, because, you know, I was at Hillsborough, and it's an emotional day, you know, because it's now on the wall. It's now in the history books that it was Christmas number one. And, you know, people ask, you know, in years to come, what was that for? You know, what, what's the story behind that, you know? The truth's out there now. Everybody knows the truth. So, I mean, it, it, it's a case of the legal process taking, taking its course now, and then the new inquests. But I think everybody knows. To me, it was about letting the whole country know about the truth and the, the independent panel's report established the truth. The single 
uh, and the music was just the music community who've helped in, in the past getting together and reinforcing them.